Oh, it's that time again. It's Kingslayer Hoops back with our first ever NBA 2K20 tutorial today. Today we're going to be going over the simple shooting controls in the game. You can practice these by going to 2KU mode in the demo or in NBA 2K20 once it comes out. So let's start off with shooting. If you've played NBA 2K in the past, this should look very familiar to you. To shoot, you're gonna either hold your right stick and then release, or press and hold square and then release. Now in the past, right stick has been a little bit more accurate, or at least that's the rumor. So I like to use the right stick just to be safe. And you will notice that this year, the shooting meter is a little bit smaller than it has been in the past, but it does feel a little bit smoother than last year. Very slight. At least that's how I feel. Let me know in the comments section if you guys agree with that once you try this out. Okay, so let's move on to the next shooting mechanic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a bank shot. And this is used primarily for big men. It's underused. You don't really see guys in the park or in the Jordan Rec doing this much. But to accomplish this, you're going to hold your right stick up and then release. So same mechanic as a jump shot, but specifically you're gonna hold it up. And you don't really wanna do this when you're shooting threes. Usually your guy will just shoot a regular jump shot. But when you're in that mid-range area, it's pretty useful if you have a center or even a shot creator. Okay, so now to cover some layups. In order to accomplish a normal layup in this game, you are going to hold the right stick up while driving towards the basket. Now if you want to do a runner or a floater, a la Tony Parker, you're going to hold the right stick down while moving towards the basket. Keep in mind that you want to be close to the rim when you're doing this because if you're too far away, you will pull up for a jump shot instead of a runner or a floater. To do a reverse layup, you're going to start from the baseline and you are going to hold the right stick towards the baseline. So it doesn't matter what hand the ball is in, if the baseline is on your right, you're going to push the right stick to the right. And if the baseline is on your left, you're going to push the right stick to the left. To accomplish the Euro step layup, you're going to move towards the basket and hold the right stick down left. Now the hand that the ball is in does matter here. So if it's in your right hand, you're going to hold the right stick down and towards the left. And if it's in your left hand, you're gonna hold the right stick down and towards the right. This does take a little bit of practice, but you can also double tap your shooting button while you're driving to the basket, and then you're gonna hold the left stick towards your ball hand, okay? So this can be a little tricky if you're new to the game, but practice it a few times and you'll get used to it. To perform a cradle layup, which is basically a safe layup, you're going to move towards the basket and hold the right stick down and to the right if it's in your right hand or down and to the left if it's in your left hand. You can also double tap square while you're driving towards the basket and hold the left stick towards the ball hand. So it's basically the opposite of the Euro step controls. To perform a two hand dunk or a safe dunk, you're going to hold R2 or the turbo button and move towards the basket and hold the right stick up while you're driving towards the basket. You can choose what hand you want to dunk from. Again, you're going to hold the turbo button and you're going to press either left or right. So your dominant or your off hand, depending on which hand you want to throw it down with. You can perform a flashy dunk by basically doing the floater controls, but with the turbo. So you're going to hold the turbo button and move the right stick away from the basket or down in this case. You can see Clay Thompson doesn't exactly have a lot of flashy dunks, but you get the idea. Now to pump fake, what you're going to do is simply tap the shooting button or move and release the right stick. To hop gather, you're going to hold R2 and you're going to move and hold the right stick down to the left or the right. Or you can double tap square while dribbling with the left stick deflected. So I like doing that second option personally, but again, depends on your preference. To perform a spin gather, you're going to rotate the right stick clockwise and then hold it while driving with the ball in your right hand. That's if you want to shoot it. If you don't want to shoot it, you let it go early and you'll stop. You can also hold R2 and then double tap square. Again, I like doing that second option better, but personal preference. To do a half spin gather, you're going to rotate the right stick in a quarter circle 
from the right and then up if it's in your right hand and vice versa if it's in your left hand. Again, this is a tricky one, but after you practice a couple times, it'll become second nature. And finally, to do a step through, you're gonna pump fake. And then before the pump fake animation is done, you're either gonna hold the shooting button or you're gonna hold the right stick. So that's it for the basic shooting controls in this game. If this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. I will be doing more advanced tutorials going forward for NBA 2K20, but this is just a simple controls tutorial. Let me know in the comments section what you wanna see next. And until next time, happy gaming, y'all.